Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit architecture. In this lesson, I'm going to show you where you can find all these stairs that you are seeing right here. Now, I thought of showing you this method because some people do not know where to find all these stairs because it seems to be hidden in terms of loading the families. These are families, but they are called system families. And it's different from the way you load those, what we call loadable families. These are quite different. So that's why I want to show you on how you can load these families. As you can see, we have a number of different stairs. It means that if you want to create such kind of a stair, you can just use this one and add a few things and be good to go. Now, by default, if you just open a template, you are not going to have all these loaded. And this is what I want to show you. So make sure that you watch from start to finish. Now, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, I ask you, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. That way you motivate me to do more and more because I will know that you like what I'm doing on my channel. And for anyone who'd like to learn, you know, Revit architecture, you know, Revit structure, robot structure analysis, and some other courses in a, you know, step-by-step -step course, please make sure that you check the links in the description. I have some good courses for you. You'll be interested once you check it out. So without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'll just open, I'll just start a new project. And to start a new project, I'll simply go there and just click on home. I'll just click there and I'll go to new. And I said you need to start with a new template. I'll use a metric architecture template. Just click there. Make sure that project is selected and click OK. So we have a new project here. Now I want to show you that if I go back to this one, which has all these, and I just go to architecture, then go to stair and just check under the properties. You see that we have a number of stairs here, which we do not have. If I go back to my new project, let me just close there, open there, go to architecture, then go to stair. If I just click there, you see that I have a few of them. Now, it doesn't mean that if you have a few of them, then you can't create any kind of a stair, okay? You can create any kind of a stair, but what it means is that you need to change a lot of things. They need to have that, you know, advanced knowledge in terms of, you know, adjusting these stairs. But if you already have a starting point, for example, if this is the stair that you want and you already have it the way it is, there'll be few things for you to change and you'll be faster that way you can see we have all these and i'll show you on how you can load this within your new project okay so here we are i'll start by you know going to south here and i just want to check my levels because i need to demonstrate on some few stairs here so i want to have three meters from level one to level two just click there just like this then I'll go back to level one. As I've said, if I go to architecture, go to stair, go there, I have a few of them, but I want to load all those. Now, what you need to do is to go to what we call the system families. We are going to open a new project and I want to show you how to open this project with all these stairs and how you can bring all these into the other project we are working from. So I'll just close this one and I'll not save it. So we just have this project. So what you need to do is to go up there and click on open, control, or just click there. And you see that you need to go to your installation where you have, you know, your software installed. It's taking me directly here because I opened it at some point. So I'll go back, go back once again so that I show you where to start from. Okay, if you are not going straight to that. Just go back. So for me, the installation is, is in new volume C. Now you just need, I don't have to tell you because it may differ from computer to computer. You just need to go to your installation where you have the software. Where you reach, when you reach there, go to program data. That's the first point. Click on program data. Then you go to Autodesk, just there. Then once you do that, you're going to have these files. If you just have one version of Revit, you're going to have something like RVT, maybe if it's 2020, if it's 2021, if it's 2023. For me, I'm using RVT 2023. Of, of course, I have 2022 as well. So I'll just double click there. Now we just need to go to our libraries by just clicking on library. 
Then from here, of course, I can use an English library. That's the one I'm using. Then from here, you may find, you know, depending on the region and the template that you installed. For me, I installed a UK template. Make sure that you choose the template that you installed. It could be USA, Poland, or whatever. I'll go to UK. Now, from here, these are the libraries. Just go now to System Families. Just click there and you see here we are. So the one we are looking for is the stairs. Once I click on it, you can even see that the preview there, we have all those stairs. Now open this one. It will open as a different project. And this is what we have here. Now, how do we export this to our, you know, to our project where we are working from? So what you need to do is to go back to that project. Then I just want to confirm that there's nothing here. There are few here. I'll just close there. So what you need to do is to go to manage. Once you go to manage, go to transfer project standards. Just click there. You can see that you need to pick, assuming that you have a number of projects opened here. They'll be listed here, but make sure that you pick the project where you want to copy, whatever I want to copy. In this case, these are stairs. I'll click there. Then I'll check none. And I just want to copy the stairs because I don't want to change anything else apart from the apart from the stairs. So I'm looking for the stairs here. And as you can see from here, I have this one and that one. So I'll select those two and simply click on OK. All right, then I'll just click on new only because that's what I want to bring here. Whatever is already here, I don't want to duplicate. So I'll just click there. And if I go to architecture, then go to stair and try to check there, you see that all those stairs are loaded right here. So this is how you bring in all your stairs. So let me just cancel here and just try to create a few of them here. So architecture, go to stair and let me just open this one. I'll start with the first one. Uh, let me just go to edit there and I want to have maximum riser height. I want to have maybe 150. Okay, the maximum trade depth, I want to have 250, which is, which is okay. The minimum run width, maybe let me have 1.2. All right, then click on apply. Okay, so as you can see, we have desired number of risers. We have 20. We have trade depth as the way it is. Then actualize the height, as you can see from here. So now I'm just going to sketch, you know, uh, up to the landing, I want to have 10 and then finish up up to the top to have the other 10. So I'll just click the first point. As you can see, I can watch from here. Let me just zoom in here. All right. So once the number here down here reaches 10, I'll have to stop. All right. Now, this lesson is not meant to teach you how to create stairs, but this is how you create your stairs. So maybe I want to leave a gap there and just go back here. Now you can see that it's overlapping there. So I can change from here uh, to should be right support. Let me try this one. Just click there. As you can see, automatic landing is checked there. That's why I'm having it like that. So I'll just have it there and just click on finish. So for the first one, then I'll go back to stair. I want to try a number of them. For this one, I just want to have a straight run stair from ground up to the floor so i'll just pick that one and if i just want to have to have this stair, maybe i'll just go straight all the way up to the top just like that finish so i'll pick another one just to demonstrate on something but it's up to you, you can go ahead and you know pick all these stairs i'll pick this one here all right again i'll, I'll not i'll just do a straight one just from there up to there, finish, pick the last one, just click there and go and pick a monolithic stair because I like using concrete stairs and pick the first point I'll use 10, I'll go up all the way up to 10, then change from there up to right. Okay, I think it's okay. And I just want to start it from here and end it up to there and click on finish. Then let me just go to my 3D view as you can see, we have the stairs there. If I just change down here to shaded, you can see that all the stairs are there. Let me just delete, you know, the railing so that I can see properly the stairs that I have. So I'll just select all those railings and delete them, as you can see from here. 
select that one and that one so you can see that we have those stairs now if you want to create such a stair like this one you see it will be easy for you to create if you have if you want to create this one you know it to make it so easy for you to create such kind of stairs so i thought of mentioning this because you know as you can see unless someone already knows but for beginners even advanced users you find that sometimes you struggle where to find these stairs so in this way you can pick the right stair start from there and accomplish whatever you want to do in revit